Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session 8th of October 2018. We have Monday's new trading week. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically we have uh, the European markets uh, certainly sliding again. FTSE breaking back below that 7300 zone. Uh, the German DAX now testing that 12,000 zone. Uh, European equity certainly coming under pressure as well as the Italian yields start to spike once again. Uh, in terms of the key market really to watch out for now is uh, Italy. Uh, again, given the fact that we've got back and forth now with regards to the ECB, uh, concerns being raised, raised with regards or rejected, should we say, uh, concerns being raised and uh, it Italian's potential budget forecast and its uh, fiscal uh, policy going forward certainly has been rejected by the ECB and is a cause for concern, which in turn obviously has sent a yield spiking in Europe, uh, which generally has been the case anyway, given the fact that the US uh, certainly are obviously turning very hawkish. Okay, And um, basically we've got the uh, FTSE mid breaking that key uh, horizontal support zone, hence the reason why we see European markets certainly under pressure. Now, the next potential uh, area of support really is going to be that gap fill zone now around the 19,400. So watch out at that level there. Okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, daily chart, again, I mean, if the market really does start to slide, then you are looking at testing those lows below. But that would certainly be one hell of a melt meltdown. Okay. Key resistance, obviously, at 24,000. Uh, the index has fallen by almost four, more than 4,000 points. Now, again, like I said, you've got gap fill. Watch out for gap fill, below, gap fill below if this market really does go into meltdown mode. So watch out below in terms of the, uh, obviously, European indexes. Uh, in terms of the rest of the market, let's just have a look here. In terms of what Asia overnight, China certainly tumbling. Uh, stocks dropping by 3%. Uh, again, apparently it's 2016 low for China. So again, Asian markets certainly not taking that in stride. Uh, given the fact that they were off holiday, uh, on holiday, given the last week's obviously sell off in terms of US equities. Now that's the question, will we continue to move lower or do we actually start to uh, retrace higher? This is the question. Given the fact that the FTSE MIB certainly hasn't found any real base, 60 minute chart, you can see it's just basically liquidating. There's no real support below. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern going forward. Uh, in terms of the rest of the markets, let's just go over the economic data this morning. Chinese CACs and PMI services came in stronger than expected, so that certainly was uh, certainly alleviated concerns. The Chinese did actually cut the interest rate as well. Uh, interest rates, uh, again, that certainly is, uh, is technically bullish, uh, but again, Asian markets obviously factoring in the risk-off scenario from last week, given the fact that they were off on holiday, especially China. Uh, in terms of German data, German industrial production came in weaker than expected. And also European Centix investor confidence certainly numbers certainly came in weaker than expected there as well. OK, so that's basically the status quo there. Again, China a trade war certainly is ongoing. We have had some conciliatory remarks with regards to China. Uh, let's just have a look here uh, in terms of China. Uh, U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo, there are many issues where there are disagreements between U.S. and China, but it's important to listen to each other. Look forward to talking about a broad range of issues. So again, that certainly is a positive tone, given the fact that we've had very bearish uh, remarks lately. Uh, German DAX. Now, German DAX is now testing that key uh, potential FIB 75% retracement zone now. Okay, uh, If the market really does start to slide, then we're going back down to 11,960, where we actually bounced uh, around 11,800 as well. Now, the doji candle so far. And again, a lot of that hinges on the European indices. Okay, so 60-minute chart really is in no man's land for now in terms of German DAX. Can we actually retrace and close the gap higher? That's the question. In terms of the French CAC, let's move on to the French CAC here. Again, retesting that FIB 75%. Uh, you do have, obviously, for support here and support we here, which was uh, gap fill at one time. So, again, looking at support uh, and into that FIB 75%. If you do, obviously, flush or continue to flush, then there is a gap fill around the 5283 so watch out for 5283 support okay so i'll certainly make a note of that okay so watch out for 5283 support going forward and obviously you've got horizontal support around the 5290 zone so that certainly will be a zone to look out for in terms of a buying opportunity in the french cac in terms of the FTSE 100 now again like i said it's slid slid below 5300 certainly testing the stops below there uh, you do have horizontal support at 7256 you got support of 7270 as well. And if the market really does start to slide, then you are looking testing the retest that pivot low of 7220 that was put in last time. Uh, there is a horizontal uh, zone here that we need to watch out for as well, which is around the uh, 7255 zone. 
Okay, watch out for 7255. Uh, and really, that's the area to watch out for for now. In terms of the FTSE, it's failed to even hold that FIB 75%. Can we put in a bottoming tail and can we start to reverse quite sharply? That's a question that we need to ask. 60 minute chart, there is a lot of horizontal support in this zone at 7280 down to 7270. Let's see if we can hold that. If the market really does start to slide, then you've got support at this pivot low at 7266. Then obviously down we go back down to 7230, which it's very hard and very unlikely for me to envisage that at the moment. The market certainly has flagged in a lot of bearish news given the fact that it's fallen from 7500, okay, on the actual index itself. Certainly watch out for a rally there. Okay, so that's basically the status quo. Uh, that's basically where we stand in terms of the FTSE 10 minute chart. Again, like I said, you've got our gap fill above at 7520. Watch out for that gap. Then you've got the resistance at 73. So 7320 and 7330. Let's see if we can break out of this bearish channel that's been uh, ongoing since the uh, 4th. Okay, uh, it's been quite some time. So again, let's see if we can hold that early October sell off. Uh, and there's multiple gaps if obviously fill above as well. So watch out to see if we can break out this uh, falling contracting channel. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. In terms of the rest of the day, it really does depend on news regarding China and Italy. So I wish you the best trading day ahead. Be sure to visit cfds.com. So take advantage of that bonus there. And uh, be sure to download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.